What the heck? Just swipe on and brush it up. Oof, this is a big guy. And we're gonna be testing this out for as long as possible. Hi guys, welcome to Marie Lane. <laughs> where my goal is to find you the best beauty products for the best prices. And today we're gonna be trying out a brand new product, the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Lift Stick versus the classic Maybelline Tattoo Brow Pencil plus the NYX The Brow Glue because this is supposed to be like a two-in-one like lift and co color, I guess? Whatever you wanna call it. Supposed to do both the work of these guys. See if this can make up for all this. So let's get into it. We'll try out the pencil and the gel first just to see what the other one compares to. Okay, let's get the brow gel on real fast. This is the best brow gel and no one can tell me any different. I probably should have shaped my eyebrows a little bit more before this video, but I'm trying to like just naturally have thicker brows. <laughs> so I'm trying to like kind of grow out the edges a little bit more. So we're gonna have some extra crazy brows today. Delivering the highest level of pigment in an easy to use pencil, this fade free, waterproof, sweat resistant, <laughs> smudge resistant brow pencil leaves behind defined natural looking brows. <laughs> Flip, this needs to be sharpened. That will last up to 36 hours. Fix and fill uneven brows without smudging throughout the day. Comes in six shades and depending on where you get it, it can range from $5.99 to $7.99. So check Amazon because it's always the cheapest. So the blonde shade just doesn't do the best job covering up my little my little scar gap. You know what I just realized? I didn't say. I'm doing the original Tattoo Studio brow pen on my left and the stick on my right. Whoops, got too excited. Okay, let's break out the stick. If I can get it open. Come on. Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen a brow spoolie like this. Is it even a spoolie? It's more of a comb. It's soft. What the heck? It looks like it would be hard, but the bristles are soft. Fascinating. Okay, let's see what the brush does. It's definitely softer than a spoolie. With the hairs that are towards like this side of my brow, it definitely makes it easier to comb. But like when I get to my like baby hairs in the back, I don't know if it does the best job. Maybe it's because they're more stubborn. I don't know. Maybe it needs this stuff first. Oof, this is a big guy. Meet our first brow lift in a stick. Lift your brow look, skip the salon hassle. This EV eyebrow shaper delivers a natural tinted and lifted look. Tint is the word I was looking for in the beginning. Moose, leave the sack alone. Where was it? Tinted and lifted look from a stick. Just swipe on and brush it up for a lifted sculpted look. The Tattoo Studio brow lift stick lasts all day thanks to its tinted wax. It's wax. This eyebrow tint stick formula smooths and sculpts while the brush lifts the brow heart brow hairs in place. Available in four shades, including a clear shade, so technically only three shades. Comes in blonde, soft brown, and deep brown, and it goes for $9.99 on Amazon, so it is a little bit more expensive than the pencil, but if it really does replace your like brow gel, then it's cheaper in the long run, I guess. I have it in the shade soft brown. I forgot to mention the pencil I have in blonde because these run dark, man. Hopefully I won't regret getting soft brown with this. Is it just me, or is the soft brown lighter than the blonde. <laughs> I kind of go want to go in with a normal spoolie and shape things a little bit more because that's like it's kind of harder to shape with that little triangle thing. There we go. That's a little better. I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup real fast and then we'll talk about all the differences. Oh my heavens. <laughs> Here's what the brows look like up close. I am very impressed with this stuff. It did such a good job ripping onto the hairs and kind of giving it that more fluffy look that the NYX brow glue does. And you don't have quite as much control with the shape just because you're applying like the wax and then brushing it through versus like using a spoolie to brush it on like with you would with like a gel. And that's why I kind of had to go back in with a normal spoolie and shape things a little bit more, but that's not a huge deal at all. It's so much softer than a lot a lot of the tattoo studio brow products, those can tend to be kind of harsh. I don't know why, maybe it's because they last so long they need to put power into it. But I feel like Maybelline's finally listened. I don't know if I was the only one complaining about it, but like their tattoo studio brow line ran so dark. I feel like this is actually a soft brown instead of being like dark brown. This is an amazing shade. We'll just say that. I think it did a great job making my brows look a lot softer. It's not necessarily detailed, obviously, because you have this huge stick. You're gonna have a harder time getting like those brow like strokes but then I think especially if you're not super concerned about like the detailed all of these are my natural brow hairs look that you can get like with using brow pomade and a really thin brush I don't think it looks unnatural necessarily or like it's too much it's just kind of fluffy it's that soft soft look I actually really like it so far and I do think especially if like you're traveling or you don't like to mess around with your brows or you just need like a super quick makeup look so far this does take a place 
slice of a brow gel or a clear brow pomade. So now I'm gonna go about my day. I will do a chicken halfway through the day in natural lighting. Thank goodness I actually started early enough that I can do that outside. And we're gonna be testing these out for as long as possible. I'm thinking like 14 hours probably. We'll see if I can make it that long because I did get up earlier than normal. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we are at the halfway point and these brows are holding up really well. I will actually say this side is fading on the edge a lot more than it normally does. This normally holds up better. This side really hasn't changed at all and I will say the wax is holding up so nicely. Like I'm super impressed. I will say the this side, I can't really tell that gel is in my brows. This side, I can tell that there's something holding my brows in place. So if that's something that, bother, that bothers you, this might not be the best product. But besides that, I am like a really, really big fan of this so far. I wish Maybelline would come out with a tattoo studio product that had the super micro fine pencil. That's what I want because I feel like that's what's missing from all their products is you get a really, really intense brow and that's not something that everyone wants. Anyway, I was thinking about that. That would share. Maybe they'll listen. It's currently 1.56 a.m. And this is what the brows look like. I just looked at my hair for the first time in a couple hours. Woof, that's bad. Also, ignore this. I had to scrub the makeup off it. It was like throbbing. So it wanted to be free and it was telling me about it. I am really impressed. I'm really impressed with this. Not only is it more accurate shade according to the name, which just fills me with so much joy. It's it's not moving. It hasn't budged once today. Also, can you tell how I watched a movie? Can you tell what position I was in when I was watching the movie? Your bronzer's like gone right here. I just feel like a mess except for my brows. The brows are great. Like this is a good and all, but I feel like this is a lot easier to make it look softer. You have to build it up a little bit and so like you can kind of control like where you want a little bit more pigment, where you want a little bit less pigment so it's not quite as harsh like on the edges, all that kind of stuff. And it is a two-in-one situation. Even though I don't think this spoolie is necessarily good on its own, it's an awesome spoolie. I just would prefer to use both a normal one and this one but besides that as long as you're not looking for the like brow hair strokes look um because even though you, the this kind of split can kind of help you achieve that it's not gonna make it look the exact same this stuff's awesome and I don't think it's waterproof but man it stayed on all day long like it did so good out of all the brow tattoo like pencils or just products in general that I've tried I think this might be my new favorite don't get me wrong the brow gel that they have is great if I need to like have a waterproof day where I'm like at the pool and I need my brows to stay in place and not go everywhere but day to day I think this is my new favorite tattoo studio product if you want to see a video where I compare the new Colossal Bounce Curl Mascara to the original one, the other video I filmed today, you can click right here. I'll link everything I talked about in the description box below. Those links are affiliate links, so I do get a small percentage of the profit. If you use my link to buy the product, which does not affect you in any way, I love you guys so much, and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye!